Hi, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to my classroom. Uh, today I'm going to introduce the uh, Obine Artist Color Pencil, and this is the Design Tone Set. It has 12 pencils, and I'm going to demonstrate that today. I'm going to do a, a small uh, drawing using those pencils, and then I'll show you another drawing I did uh, of a still life. So uh, let's go to my painting table and let's get started. Okay, this is the uh, design tone set and it comes in a nice tin little tin box uh, and it's very nice packaged here. I'm going to go over the colors here that we have. The first two colors, this is called Signal Red and the next one to that is Magenta. Those are the two red colors. The next two colors, uh, this one is called Tangerine and the yellow one is uh, dandelion. Nice, beautiful colors. We're going to use those today in my drawings. The uh, yellow one here is called uh, lemon, and the green, the light green, is called fresh green. Now the the cooler colors. Now getting down to cooler colors. This is this is viridian, which is a nice bright green viridian. And the blue one is the turquoise blue. The next two is, uh, this is the royal blue, the dark blue one here. And the next one is iris, a nice purple color, nice violet. And the last two colors, which is a repeat of the basic tone set, but we have the black and the white pencil. And those include the twelve. Those include the twelve colors. And I'm going to do a. I'm going to do a small drawing here. I'm going to bring over my uh, drawing pad. Let me take my. What? I'll bring over my field sketch pad. And what I'm going to do. Uh, my inspiration today. I I found a little. Just a little photograph here. It's got some trees. It's got a little bit of water. Some sky up here peeking through the trees. It's got a little pathway. And so I thought that would be an interesting little a little painting here to try uh, in, in these uh, colored pencils. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the, uh, the roadway or the pathway. So I'm going to start out here with the tangerine which is the orange. And I'm going to use all the colors here in the In the design set, I just just the old purpose here is to demonstrate it, but also to use the the colors that are here, and not necessarily the natural colors you would find. And I draw the outline uh, with the point, and I'm going to go ahead and scrumble a little bit on using the side of the pencil, just to get some color down on the paper. This is the 140 pound watercolor paper that I, that's in this pad. So I'm using a watercolor paper to capture this color. Now the dandelion, I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow up here on the left side and maybe put a little bit more on the road. Always re I always repeat the colors somewhere else in my design. I'll use a little bit more of that later on. Now the main subject here is the tree. So I'm going to put the tree here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the iris, the purple color starting with the, the tree trunk here and going up into the tree just to get a little little shape going here. I'm going to be blocking in most of these colors and I'm going to pick up the uh, the viridian and I'm going to start putting in some some leaves. And all I want to do here is just get some basic shapes. I'm just going to block in the basic shapes. Just like I would if I was doing a painting. I just get the basic shapes that I want to design. Then I start painting around that. This big one here comes down. Now this is going to be a, a real quick sketch just to give an idea of the colors. Also 
possibly uh, some techniques that may be used in, in using your colored pencils. I'm just blocking in some of the colors. And then what I'm going to do now is pick up a little bit of this uh, light green. This is fresh green is what the name of the, the color is. Fresh green pencil. And uh, pick up a little bit, pick up this uh, iris again. I'll, see, I'll use purple over here in this tree, so I'm going to use purple over here and this side over here. Just, a, just for continuity in the painting, just a little bit of continuity. And if, uh, if uh, you haven't used colored pencils before, it's just like painting. I mean, you're going to, I call it paintings, it's just like painting with a pencil. And I'm going to use the, uh, the blue up here in the sky. Put a little bit of sky up here in the trees. And there's a little bit of water down here, so I'm going to put a little bit of water. And I'm using a vertical stroke because the, the, the water is horizontal. So I use a little vertical pencil mark. Now even the sky is horizontal as far as I'm concerned. And this uh, turquoise, turquoise blue is also a nice color. And here, and back here in the background, some old trees and so forth. I'm going to use a vertical stroke here because the trees have vertical, vertical lines and vertical shapes. So I use a little vertical stroke here to stay consistent with the, stay cons consistent with the landscape. Okay. And off this tree here, I'm going to have a little. A little shadow because the sun's gonna the sun's coming from the right right top and it's gonna cast a shadow down here on the ground so I'm putting in a little bit of a little bit of mark here for a shadow okay now that I've got uh, my basic uh, colors in here what I'm gonna do now is start uh, adding a little more a little more pigment on the paper a little bit darker so I'm gonna go in and add more color and I even put a little bit of black in here. The black will be in the shadow side, to say the tr trunk over here. A little bit of black. I can even put black down here in the in the shadow. So I'm building up these colors gradually, and uh, and also this light green, this fresh green, I'm going to put up here in the tree. There's, the sun's coming this way, so there'll be some lighter leaves up here. And I'll think what I'll do that the tree is uh, the tree leaves are summer leaves early early summer. I'm going to put them a little bit darker. So I'm going to put a little bit more a little bit more pigment here on the on the leaves a little darker. So I'm pressing a little harder on the pencil, and I'm checking my shapes now. I mean, this shape is uh, I don't want these to be the same. I want to be different shapes from a design standpoint. Now I'm, now I'm looking, I'm being careful now on the edges now. I want this to look like leaves, so I'm doing some sharp edges. So on the contour of the branches, I'm making, I'm making leaf, leaf shapes. And I'm going to put a little bit of yellow up here because the sun's shining on this side. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow up here. Use this lemon color up here on the on the right side, and then on the left side in the shadow, I'm going to use this royal blue to give me a little darker green as a shadow. With uh, adding adding blue to the green gives me a darker green, so it gives me a shadow color for the green. I can put a little bit of blue on the trunks. Okay. Now down down here next to the water, what I'm going to do is add I'm going to add some more landscape down here. What I'm going to do is put some rocks down here next to this tree and 
be a little a little more color here a little more pressing a little harder on the pencil will give me a little more a little more definition here and I'll pick up that uh, this is the uh, iris iris color and put a little bit of shadow here in the rocks along the edge of the road and maybe a little bit over here also I'm going to put a little bit of these the iris also a little purple I'm going to put that in the shadow pattern here for that tree okay I'm going to go back checking my edges so I'm almost done I got to, just going to check the edges one more time here a little darker on the shadow side of the trunk. I'm going to define, I'm going to define a few trees here in the background. And I'm going to add some more color over here. This is a, these are tall weeds growing over here, brush on the side of the road. Put a little bit of, a little bit of that uh, lemon yellow in there just to give a little touch. Maybe a little bit of orange. I like orange here. I'm going to put a little bit of orange over here. Now, as far as the red, I'm going to put red now. I'm going to add red now to my shadows. Give me a little more interest here. A little more color in the shadows. So I'm adding this red signal color into the tree. A little bit down here along the edge of the road. And I'll put some in the shadow. A little bit of red here. Maybe a little color over here. And that magenta, the same thing. I'm going to put some magenta down here on the on the rocks. Put some magenta in my shadow pattern. And I'm going to add some more. That's some more yellow here. Okay. Now, what I want to show you now is that this looks like a little scribble. And I'm going to take a watercolor brush with some melts and what I use here the melts is the uh, color pencil blender and it's made by Holbein and it's used to blend the color pencil so rather than blending rather than do it blending the old typical way with pencil I'm going to use the, the melts now here in the trees I'm going to just use I'm going to use a technique which I call just dabble. I'm just going to dabble. I just want parts of that to to blend. Leave some of it unblended and leave and let some of it blend. Now what happens when you add this to the uh, color pencil, it takes about five or ten seconds for it to start activating. And then it, what it does, it, it blends, it starts to melt the, starts to melt the uh, pencil marks. They start to blend together. You can see here as I added to this tree, this tree stump here, with a tree uh, trunk, you can see the colors starting to blend. Down here is orange. You can see the blending here on the orange along the roadway. And this shadow pattern which comes over here, I may add some more color to it. I'll start out here with the, the basic here I have, just the basic shape. So really I just blocked in the colors and I can go back and add in more color on top of this. But getting the basic shapes down, just getting the shapes and, and uh, blocking in the colors is a starting point. This old tree over here leaning over and uh, these tall grasses on the side. Now, last thing I won't forget here, and I'll forget the water, I'm going to do a horizontal motion here. So I'll use a horizontal brush stroke. And up here in the sky, to get that blue up here in the sky, again, using horizontal strokes. And what I can do is go back. And add in more color. 
I'll add a little more color to the roadway here, a little pathway. Make it a little bit darker. So I'm adding more tangerine. And I want to add a little bit of blue into this mix to gray it down. I'm using the complementary color, blue against orange, which will give me a, a gray color. And I can even mix in a little bit of black to gray it down even more. I'll gray down that color just a little bit. Now the shadow pattern, the shadow pattern, I want to add a little more color into the shadow pattern. So I add a little bit of blue to the shadow. I went ahead and uh, I'm going to show you the another version I did of the same of the same uh, drawing, and this is the tree here. I did it, took a little more time on this one, but uh, more carefully done. I wanted to show you a little, a little, another results of the same view. Let me go bring it up to you and show you a little close up of that. So that was done with the uh, design tone set, and uh, it, I think it turned out very nicely. I also did a still light. And what I did here is I took an orange and a, and a banana and I uh, set them up on the kitchen table and I started drawing. And I came up with this description, this design. Now you notice here, uh, I, also, I also recorded all my mixtures here. For example, in the orange, I used uh, the, the uh, tangerine and the lemon uh, and the, uh, the dandelion. All three colors were used up here in the orange itself. And I added, even added a little bit of red and a little bit of magenta here to darken it up. And in the banana itself, I used the yellow, I used the tangerine and the, uh, the, the lemon mixture here in the, in the banana. Now, the one interesting thing on the brown, there was a brown layer on the banana. I actually, down here at the bottom, you'll see I created a mixture. I used the tangerine, I added the uh, turquoise blue, then I added a little bit of red, and I, I, then I created a brown color. And then added a little bit of black on top of that. I created a brown color here by a mixture here at the bottom. So I mixed those colors and then tried them out before I applied them to the actual uh, subject. Now, as far as I found, I made a little, I made up a little mat, made up a little mat here to put around this, so that this could be matted. And of course, I would block these other colors out. I could, I could mask those out. But creating a little mat around that to give myself a final painting. So this was a still life used with the design tone uh, colored pencils. The Hobine Artist colored pencil sets all the way up to 150 and also 150 colors individually sold are all available at everswatercolors.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. It helps with my rating. And select the bell to be notified of my next video. See you in the next video.